Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcar.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. This is KY4 BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. And look at what I have out here today. A 7300 distribution box that my Elmer made, or I think I helped a little bit on this one, but he may have actually made this. The IOTA power supply that uh, seems to work nicely on these types of situations. I'm going to ultimately put this in a go uh, suitcase, but it's just out here on the table to test. I haven't actually tested it yet, but I got a green light, powered on the radio a second ago, everything looked good. And what are we out here for? Well, as we promised, we're doing an SWR antenna analyzer video, and so what antenna do I bring out here? Well, let's pan over. Let's just follow the wire, and there she is. You're probably intrigued as much as anybody else with this particular antenna. We've actually got this in the antenna series, so the card will come up here in just a second in the top right corner. But folks, this is still one of my favorite antennas when I'm on the road. And today I have some new ham sticks that I need to tune. And that's what we're going to do. Now, the way the octopus is tuned, you take these stingers, which are the uh, stainless hanging out the ends here, and what you do is you move them into the sleeve as much as necessary, both ends, by the way. Uh, to achieve resonance for that frequency and you use your antenna analyzer to help you find out where that is. So that's what we're going to be doing in this next segment is tuning the octopus with a couple of new ham sticks. Now these are going to be set for 40 meters. So uh, let's see how this works out. We'll be back in the very next segment. All right, and we're back. So what I've done is uh, turned on the 7300 we're not interested in all the fancy features tonight. What we're trying to do is see if the antenna, those two ham sticks that I put on the octopus, are ready for transmit. Now, I'm already picking up uh, um, on the receive side some folks that are communicating right now. So we know we're picking up stations, but we don't know if the antenna is really ready for transmitting. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to the menu down here and you'll notice here in the top right corner, we have the SWR meter. Now this radio also has a tuner, but I don't even know if it needs to be tuned. And I don't know if the radio can tune it. Anything above a 3 SWR, a lot of these radios can't tune that. So you would need to use an external analyzer that could look at SWR even higher than 3. But uh, in this case, we'll turn on the SWR meter. We'll clear it. And you can see the band down here at the bottom. So I'm looking at from 7173, which is a little bit below what I can transmit on anyway, all the way up to 7293. And I'm uh, uh, currently interested in 7223, uh, 233, because that's where we just heard a signal. Maybe I want to go make a contact. But I don't know if I can do it safely. See, that's the thing. I don't know if I can do it safely. And as uh, any good Elmer will tell you, a brand new antenna, you need to hook it up to an analyzer because sometimes from the factory they're just banged up or they're not correct. So the way we do it on the 7300 is you take the microphone here, it's kind of big here in the display, but what you do is you press the push to talk just briefly. What this does, this creates a graph uh, along the bottom there, and uh, I'll just kind of put this where you can kind of see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to click it and see where the SWR uh, currently is on either side of the station that I want to listen to. So let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. We're above three more than likely. When you see those big red bars, that means that uh, you're above 1.5. And in this case, although I can receive stations, or in this case 7233 uh, 7, 3, just fine, I'm not safe, or it is not safe, to try to uh, communicate with the antenna as it currently stands. What I need to do is make an adjustment to the uh, uh, hamsticks to see how well I can bring that down before I use the tuner, if at all, built in to the radio. So in the next segment, I will have made an adjustment on the octopus. Remember, we're just moving the stingers into the sleeve. Uh, we'll go in, I don't know, we'll go in six inches and see what it does. So I'll be right back after this first adjustment. 
Okay, so we've made our first two or three adjustments, not just one. I made one adjustment, no, no impact, so I just didn't bring you back. Made a second uh, adjustment, still no impact. But now on the third adjustment, look at what we're getting. And you're probably looking at it and you're going, well, Brian, but all I see is a slight little dip on the left-hand side. Well, that's actually good news. That means that my stingers are still too long. Anytime your uh, uh, lowest SWR appears to be down below, that means your antenna element is too long. And in this case, we're at 7173. We're still too high. It's tunable on this radio, but I bet we can get it lower than that. And what we need is we need to shift that dip to the right in this case. So let's do another adjustment, come back and let's see if we've shifted that dip just a little bit or uh, maybe a little bit more to the right. So be right back after <laughs> the fourth adjustment. Okay, so as you can see, I've saved a little bit of time here. I've already run the, uh, the scan and we did in fact shift it to the right. Not enough, but we're getting so much closer. And this is again why you need an SWR antenna analyzer. This is why. Out of the box, where the stingers were, wasn't good enough. Let's make a, another adjustment, and we'll be right back. Okay, it took a few little minor adjustments, and I wanted to make sure I was not on the station that was broadcasting, because what the <laughs> really poor etiquette is to start tuning your radio. Well, I'm, right now I'm just doing SWR, so it's a very short burst, but you really don't want to do that on top of where other people are talking. Now, <laughs> what I've done is zoomed in a little bit. It's gotten darker out here, so the display will show up a little better as well. And you'll notice I've shifted this quite a bit. If we look from the top here, you can see where my finger is. We're at 7132 to 7192, and that's where the dip is. And if we uh, look for a signal, we know we're going to be in pretty good shape. So let's turn up the volume and let's see if we can find something pretty close to where we're at. In fact, I'm going to go back to scope here, just the scope, and let's turn up the volume. So we've got a little rag chew going on here, and as you can tell, uh, at least from the receive, we're fine. Now, let's move over a little bit. We've got a stronger signal just to the right, which is actually closer to where I'm centered. Let's see if we can put out a call. KY4, Bravo, Delta, Papa. All right, uh, 82 DMR, uh, go ahead, Jim. Ed Gibbs, Jeremy, call, because I'm not copying. Delta, Papa. All right, well, difficult making contacts tonight uh, once I've got the SWR where I want it. I'm uh, positioned at 205 at the moment. You'll notice here on the graph that we're just... Uh, right on top of 205. There is a good strong signal there, but uh, at the moment I'm just not able to break through. Sometimes you get a pile up, there's no way you can get through that. But I tuned, or I didn't tune, I checked the SWR for the 40 meter ham sticks, and my dip is right where I need it to be. I'm under 1.5, probably pushing 1.4, 1.4, but that's good. And at this point, I can be extremely confident that my antenna and my radio like each other. And that's the main thing. You want to make sure that antenna and that radio like each other. And when I send out a strong signal, most of that power is going out the antenna, gives me the best opportunity for a contact, uh, and that's where you want it to be. So let's close it out. We use the ICOM 7300. We utilize the SWR feature of this radio and uh, we adjusted the ham sticks until we got a nice sweet spot or pretty close to it for where I was in the band at that moment in time for making contacts. A little bit tough to make a contact tonight. That happens sometimes, especially when you get some of these pileups. It's tough to just get through there when other people are running amplifiers. But nonetheless, I know, and now you know, that I would have been safe to communicate and safe to transmit. This is KY4BDP. If you like this kind of content, please click subscribe. Then once you subscribe, click that notification bell and that'll let you know when we put out new videos. We usually put out a new video once a week, every Friday. Uh, we also have Instagram, we also have Facebook. You can see that down in the description. Give us a like and give us some comments. We really enjoy making these videos for you. KY4CKP and myself, KY4BDP uh, for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. We're going to close out the video today, and we'll see you in the next one. 73s.